Good morning and Happy New Year from the Winterly Road. So it's the first day of 2021 and I'm out taking some photos or at least I'm trying to and I've come back to the magical forest which I visited more than 10 times I think over the past two years and this time is the first time where I got a lot of snow. So really if you look around all the trees they are white to the side where the wind's blowing the snow in and yeah, this makes the scenes around me very clean. Unfortunately I don't have much fog so I was really hoping that I also get fog so the combination of those snowy trees and fog would have been just fantastic but still um, I shouldn't complain it's, it's really just beautiful it's also very quiet so not a sound just a few birds and yeah gonna explore. It's completely new so if you go to a forest in autumn or spring um, it looks completely different to winter because the problem with woodland photography always is like you have to find the yeah the order and the chaos and this is often very hard because of the forest ground where there's a lot of stuff lying around and it's hard to find a good foreground and clean compositions. Now in winter just add a canopy of snow suddenly the whole foreground everything is very clean and you just have the trees sticking out of the white surroundings and this is, makes it much easier to find the order uh, I'm looking for and we have started here with a very simple composition a very simple image where I have just this tree which has the um, branches which are covered in yeah, thick snow a little frosty so it looks very nice and then some other trees so just many verticals in the frame so some depth by this tree being in the foreground and the others a little back um, and also if you look into the background even without having some mist there with those trees being white it's still some yeah fade into the distance it becomes more white and less detailed and yeah I think that's quite nice and it will work I stick around a bit longer because out there there is a bit of fog so maybe it's at some point coming into the woods but for now yeah, I'm just glad to have such a beautiful forest around me and yeah, hopefully find some more photos and also maybe I talk you through a few of the compositions I find. So yeah, let's continue. So I'm now working here on a vertical frame, which yeah, I don't do too often, but those trees, they just look so nice. And when I point the camera slightly upwards, I get some nice perspective. So usually, you know, when I take horizontal photos in the woods, I try to level the camera to avoid any keystoning. So I want the trees straight in the frame because I think it looks a little bit unprofessional if the trees are just bending around. But there are times where this can also help the composition. So introduce some diagonals and if there's no point of reference which tells you yeah, this is really keystoning, it might yeah, just look nice. And if you're shooting a little upwards, having some trees and yeah, they fade out into the distance, this can look quite nice. And that's what I'm trying here. Um, I'm not so sure about the composition but I'm taking the photo anyway and yeah that's something you should also do so don't overthink which is something I do a lot so sometimes I'm playing around with a composition going around some trees taking test photos for 15 minutes half an hour just to in the end decide ah, it's not worth it don't take a photo then I get home and I look at those test shots and I realize damn it those would have or this would have been a good photo so yeah always finish so pull through, take the photo, even if in the field you might think ah, it's not a photo which ends up in the portfolio, but uh, it's good to have it because sometimes when you look at it on the big screen, it might look completely different and suddenly it might be a portfolio shot. And yeah, that's what I'm hoping for this one. I'm not sure, not even sure if it will end up in the video, but yeah, still gonna take this photo now and then continue a bit and hopefully still hoping for some fog because if you look in this direction, it seems back there could be a little bit at least. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna continue now.
So I've now come to the far end of the woodland and yeah, to a scene which I tried to photograph already in the past. Never worked out because there was just too much chaos, but now with the snow it actually is close. So the foreground is now clean and I have a composition which yeah, could make a good photo, but yeah, I, for this scene at least I think I would need a bit fog to yeah, simplify the background because there's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not yet sure how it will look on the big screen. I composed the shot now and I'm gonna take the photo because I think with all the snow around the trees it might still work, but yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but what I wanted to do anyways is I'm gonna talk you through the composition now because there are a few little things um, which might be interesting. So a few things I had to look out when I arranged the camera. So yeah, let's just do that now. And I'm gonna record this so that we can see the same. Let's go to a lower ISO. Okay, so in the foreground you see here there are those little twigs sticking out of the snow. And what I had to be careful with when I arranged the camera, so normally if you want to take wide-angle photos which are very dynamic, you try to get very low. Um, but you shouldn't get too low. For example, in this scene you see this little twig here. If I was going lower with the camera, this one would intrude into the background. And yeah, that's something I tried to avoid. I want a bit of separation. So if you go too low with your compositions or your wide-angle photos, you are losing the middle ground, the separation, and it's just foreground and it directly drops into the background. And most of the time this doesn't look too nice and yeah, you're, you're missing the opportunity to, to lead the viewer through the scene, which is what I'm trying here. So here's enough space for, also here are a few uh, footprints already, so, um, but there's space for someone to enter the scene and um, yeah, follow, follow the way through the trees, so to say. And also, when you compose, make sure that the corners look right, there's nothing intruding. So, the thing that's bothering me here is, up here, this very bright spot, there's nothing to balance it and it's very close to the edge of the frame. So, yeah, this is something I'm not yet sure about, but I also have to know the final image, uh, it's 3 by 2 so I have a little bit of space to the top where are a few more branches, so this very bright area yeah, it's, it's not directly at the top. So I'm not yet sure. It's always on the tiny screen such little problems that uh, usually don't look too bad, but you always have to think, okay, when you have this big on the big screen or print this, um, this might be a bit too much. So definitely what I do here, I, make, I do bracketing to make sure I can darken this area. Yeah, but for now, uh, you just have to take the photo and later see how it looks on the big screen. And yeah, as I said, there are already some footprints going through the frame, which is very unfortunate, but it's also something about which I can think when I compose a shot. It will be easy to remove those. It's just snow, so no patterns which are hard to clone out. But yeah, sometimes it might be harder and uh, it might help you in the field to just change the composition a little bit to make it later easier to remove such footprints or something else which is bothering you in the frame. So already think about how you want to process or clean up a photo later in post while you're in the field. Maybe even sometimes you can even do the cleanup in the field. So it's with snow it's a little hard but sometimes when I photograph in autumn or there are some branches lying yeah, in the frame, some little ones, I it just move them to the side just a tiny bit to make the frame a little cleaner. Yeah, and now I'm gonna take the photo I'll show it to you, even though I'm not sure if it's a portfolio shot, um, but yeah, we're gonna see. So it's a little bit ironic that the photo about which I was talking the most now in the video might be the one which doesn't make it into my portfolio. So here's the image as I now cropped it and I'm not sure if it's good enough for the portfolio. The reason is up here in the upper half of the image or yeah, two-thirds of the image. There's a lot of stuff going on with all those branches and the little twigs and everything and yeah, as I said in the video, fog would have helped here. Uh, I was fortunate to have a lot of snow and ice on those little branches. Those help to simplify the scene because it's making everything kind of monochrome or white, 
but still here the foreground is very clean something which I also which I wanted because it removes the chaos but now I think it might be just a bit too clean compared to what we have up here so I guess I have this image sit a little longer and then I might revisit it and maybe even give it a try process it but for now it's not yet there also just to mention I cropped it into a 16 by 9 because otherwise I would have had much more of that clean foreground and this wouldn't have helped. And what I would do if I process this image, I would clone out this branch down here just to have a clean edge down here. But yeah, currently I don't think this is going into the portfolio. So just a couple of minutes ago the sun was out so in this direction it is now hiding behind the clouds again but when it was out it was just magical because it was lighting up all those beautifully snow covered frosty trees and those in the foreground lit up by the sun and then the background the dark clouds this looked just magical and I was running around desperately trying to find something to photograph I put on the long lens quickly and yeah I think I found one or two nice compositions which I photographed didn't film it though because I knew this moment wouldn't last too long which it didn't so now I've come to a final composition or the third one which I tried to photograph and yeah I was just a little late and I think it's it's a shame because this could have been also a nice photo so you have this tree there in the foreground frosted very nice and then the background there's a yeah, similarly shaped tree so you have a, a nice repetition there and yeah if the sun would come out again I definitely take this photo so hmm, gonna wait a bit longer but looking that direction it seems clouds getting lower so maybe I get my fog after all don't know yet but yeah it's just magical being out here and yeah in winter one beautiful thing is even around noon which well, I think we have now the sun is still quite low so you can still get very nice light and yeah this was just one of those moments and at least one photo I'm gonna show you now and then gonna wait a bit longer and see yeah what the day brings So I'm still walking around here on this plateau. It's now afternoon and yeah, the light's getting really sweet there with the sun lighting up the clouds. So it's golden light now. And yeah, again, I found a lonely tree. Now in the woods back there, I said, when you want to take a dynamic photo, you have to get low, but you have to be careful not to go too low. So you lose middle ground. Well, here it's a little different. There is no real middle ground. This is just snow. It's a very minimalistic photo here. I have to be careful and have to get very low because you see those little branches if I go too high those branches are not separated from the horizon so they will cross the horizon line if I go lower there will be a separation between the horizon line and all the branches will be above so it's much cleaner that way and this is something to look out for you really have to zoom in and look closely also the tops of the trees in the background when I get low enough those are gone and the composition gets much more minimalistic so it's really just white then the tree and then this beautiful golden sky so very very simple photo and yeah I'm just glad I stuck around here and I have such a beautiful day out in the snow so really a good way to start the new year so yeah gonna walk around a bit more see if I can find more of those beautiful trees and see if I can take a few more photos. <laughs> 